So, cyberpunk. If you've been keeping up with recent events, you know that cyberpunk was slated to be a cultural phenomenon. And it came out, and it wasn't. Not in the way that it was supposed to be, at least. Not to say it didn't have an impact, but the rushed release, slew of bugs, and console issues really hit hard for cyberpunk. All the mainstream media attention it had garnered turned against it and then turned awry. But I'm not here to talk about the dumpster fire that was the press surrounding this game's launch. At the time of recording this video, the devs were working hard in a big patch. I'm here to show you how to make this. Now, yes, there already exists an official version of the Funko Pop, or Pop Funko, whichever way you've been saying it. But this version is a bit more faithful to the promotional material of V. Hi guys, my name is Asher and this is Creating a Cyberpunk Funko Pop in Blender. You can follow along with this video and create any custom Funko Pop really, not just V. So I start off with a cube, subdivide it and add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm using this image we got off the official Funko Pop website as reference for my proportions. Using spheres and a cube, I add in his eyes and nose respectively. I resize the cylinder on the z-axis and rotate it to create the ears. I delete half the vertices and join them. Then. Using another cube that I've subdivided and added a subdivision surface modifier, I begin the body. Again, using a cylinder, I create the neck. I recommend using something with the same amount of vertices as your body. That way, it'll be easier to connect them at the end. Here, I'm just shaping the body to my liking. You can do the same with yours in any way you choose. Deleting four of the faces on the body that is using a mirror modifier, I create a cavity for the arms and reshape it to my liking. Then, I select the edge loop and extrude it for the arms, making changes in its size as I go. I totally spazzed out here and spent an ungodly amount of time changing the rotation of the arm. For reference, I did it by resizing the edge loop on the z-axis to zero. I keep turning off the subdivision surface modifier to check the original geometry of the object to make changes a lot easier. I'm capping off the arms and extruding three faces for the fingers. I then extrude another face from around the base of the palm for the thumb. I'm extruding some faces at the bottom now for the legs and adjust their proportions as I go. I do the same here for his feet. Starting with his hair, I create a cube with a subdivision surface and start sculpting it. I mainly use the grab brush and the draw brush here, but the crease brush really helps getting finer details. I try to keep the poly count down while sculpting, but getting finer details sometimes requires me to use dynamic topology but I remesh it at the end to keep it neat. Yet again, I'm subdividing a cube and adding a subdivision surface modifier to create the eyebrows. I'm using some concept art created by my teammate Ashwita as reference. For the clothes, I select vertices on the body, duplicate them, and add a solidify modifier. I then go in to sculpt them for finer detail.
I do the same for his jacket and then use a curve controlled by a bevel object for his iconic collar. I add more details to his jacket and apply basic materials to all of the objects. To be honest, I'm winging it here. I'm creating creases based off of what I think a jacket should look like, but I'd recommend using reference for something like this. I'm using the cloth brush here to add finer details to the clothes, and it really helped getting a more believable look. For the laces, I create another curve controlled by a bubble object and slowly lose my mind. I created stylized laces and then said screw that and moved on to the collar. Here I'm just giving it an emission material for the areas that need to light up and go on to create the smaller accessories for his jacket. I UV unwrap and begin texture painting the decal on his face and his sick side shave. I begin painting his beard and finally give him that bad boy vibe. Here, I'm adding in his scar and create objects for the smaller details on his face as well as his earrings and the little plug thing at the back that he uses in the game that I don't really know how to describe but you know that scene from Avatar, the Blue Monkey movie, not the last Airbando, where they like use their ponytails to connect into the tree? Um, it's kind of like that but make it tech. I begin texture painting his jacket and add the finer details to his pants. Finally, I add the decal at the back of his jacket and call it a day. And that's how I made the Cyberpunk Fungo Pop. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Check us out on social media, join our Discord community, and check out our Cellify store in the description for free assets. Thanks for watching!